So you've heard a lot of great things about Unity and you'd like to start your game development adventure. So you go to the Unity website, link in the description, you click download for Windows or Mac, then open downloaded file and you see this, Unity Hub. What is it for, how to use it, and most importantly, how to download the desired Unity version. I'll teach you all of that in this video. Remember to stick to the end for more advanced tips. So first, just a bit of history. A few years ago, if you wanted to run Unity, you had to download specific version of your need. That itself was alright, but then running two or more versions of Unity caused an enormous mess in your files and it was quite easy to get lost. But then Unity released a great new tool called Unity Hub. Let's start the walkthrough with this screen which probably appeared when you first launched Unity Hub. Here you need to log into your Unity ID or like in my case we can also easily register a new account. After filling in some data and verifying your email address, you should see this screen. Here you simply need to activate your free Unity license. Of course, we don't have any projects yet, but before creating one, we firstly need to install Unity Editor. Go to the Installs tab and at the top select Install Editor. Here we can select which version of Unity we'd like to go with. So here at the top you can see free LTS releases. The idea is that if you are working on a serious project and you want to make sure that your Unity version will be supported for a long time, you should go with the newest long-term support release. But if you're experimenting or you've heard about some amazing features that new Unity versions are packed with, you can try to install something from the currently developed versions or even some pre-released beta or even alpha versions. It's up to you. For the sake of this tutorial, I will go with the newest 2020 LTS version, which is recommended by Unity. Click Install and here select which components you'd like to include in your installation. Firstly, if you don't have Visual Studio, which allows you to easily write code for your game, be sure to click a checkbox here. Then select which build targets you'd like to install. Basically, if you'd like to build your app for desktop, simply select this Mac, Windows and Linux checkboxes. If you plan to develop mobile games, you might be interested in iOS and Android build support. Finally, at the very end, I would suggest you to uncheck documentation since you can access all of it online and there is no need to take up additional space on your disk. Great, that should be it. Now click install and wait till Unity Hub will prepare everything for you. One small tip before we'll move on. If you will change plans and you like to support more platforms, next to your installed engine click settings icon and select add modules. That way you can easily install additional packages later on. So now, after we've installed the Unity Editor, we can create our first project. Go to the Projects tab and click New Project. Here you can browse for multiple starting templates. I usually go with the clean 2D or 3D template, but be sure to take a look at the other options like Project with Unity Render Pipeline Setup, 2D and 3D mobile game or even Lego micro game. Then finally, name your project, set its location and click create project. That opens Unity Editor where you can start your game development adventure. And now for the very end, check out those 5 more advanced tips. If you downloaded any Unity project from the internet, you can simply add it to Unity Hub using this open button. Simply find a downloaded folder and click open. If you're trying to open project created with older Unity version that you have installed, that's usually okay, but please remember to back up your files before doing that. Opening project created in newer version that you have installed is not possible. To overcome that, you can go back to the install tab and install editor that has a smaller or the same version number than your project. If you have more than one Unity Editor installed and you're creating new project, you can click here and select what Unity Editor should be used. 
If you are joining a team of developers that are currently using some different Unity version that is not listed here, be sure to check out Archive tab and click Download Archive. Here you can select any Unity version released in the last 8 years. Find the one you are interested in and click this green Unity Hub icon. You will be immediately asked to install this version with its components. And that's it! If you're just starting out your Unity adventure, be sure to check out my other tutorials shown on the screen. As always, thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!